Hello and welcome to another edition of La Rats, your technology show that demystifies everyday technology like your computers and your Bluetooths and your Wi-Fis. I'm Andy Walker. I'm Sean Carruthers. And speaking of technology that you use every day, today we're going to look at printer ink. Ink. That's right. You know those million dollar cartridges you have to put into your printer every month? I hate spending a million dollars every month. Uh, you guys out there in uh, internet land said, you know, sent us an email and said, uh, hey, um, should I uh, refill my cartridges? Will that work? Should I buy generic cartridges, or should I go with the big brand, super duper million dollar cartridges that you can buy at your yeah. local computer store? The age old question. That's right. To refill or not to refill? That is the question. So today on Labrest, we're going to actually look at the three different types of uh, ink cartridges you can get, including refillables, and, uh, and tell you which one seems to work the best. That's today on Labrest. And uh, in, to prepare for that, we, yeah. do we that have some... dangerous. First of all, I have a syringe. Yeah, I, I think because of the syringe, we need some safety gear around here. So uh, why don't we take a break and, uh, and prep the set? Okay, when we come back, ink refilling demystified today on Labyrinths. This episode brought to you by our friends at Hover, the easiest way to buy domain names and do more with them. Get 25% off today by visiting hover.com slash labrats. I'm going to regret this episode massively. Is that because you're in uh, rain gear right now? Do you like it? Do you like my pink gloves? Yeah, I, I like that. I'm, I'm, I got the white gloves, but I also, I'm, I'm not, I know you're going to be touching the ink here, so I've actually suited up all the way around here. He's going to get so dirty. Cannot wait. I better go get the hat as well. <laughs> okay. Here. Well, no, we'll get it later. Anyway, so today we're going to look at ink. So you have that printer, right? You bought it for 99 bucks, maybe $200, maybe 350 if it's a multi-function, and you thought, ah, I'm done. Well, you know, first of all, the cartridges, there we go, that you get are half full with the new printers, so we have to go out, and as soon as you, that's very nice. Anyway, so as soon as you, uh, as soon as you go out and refill them, you're gonna be faced with, you know, a $26, $30 per cartridge fee so your cheap printer suddenly becomes a hundred dollar a month habit. Outrageous. Outrageous. Completely outrageous. But it is a business model for the print, print manufacturers. You know, if you think they're in the printer business, they're not. They're in the ink business and the paper business most of the time. Yes. So we thought we'd have a look at uh, the branded ink that comes from manufacturers, right? Yes. Generic ink, which comes from the no-name brand people that are cloning the ink cartridges. Yes, so a more budget-oriented alternative. Right, and what about these ink refill kits, which you can actually refill the cartridges yourself? That worries me. Just <laughs> watching you waggling that around, that worries me. Hence the outfit. So, uh, so let's get started by uh, first looking at, so we, we used a, a brother printer, a multifunction printer, um, and we bought the standard brother cartridge, like that. Mm -hmm. And you see the price on that, $26, and that's, that's for the black. That's for the black, black and for the, the, the three, yes. three colors, I guess. Yeah, 1680 each for the three different colors. All right. So, so like, you look, look at that. That adds up. So that's a 75 bucks, 60 or 70 bucks, somewhere in that range, yeah. to actually refill your printer, right? Yes. With the Brother brand. Now, these guys here, these are uh, the generics. They're $6.30 each. And in fact, actually, no, that's six for the six thirty for the black and five eighty. Yeah. So for the colors, it's a it's a bit of a savings. There. A massive savings, really, if you think about it. So I mean, look at that side to side. Maybe. Which one would you buy? Right. Well, I know what I would buy. I would buy the generics, and, and I would I would buy the branded. And I tell you why, because the the the, tech, now, the companies go to a, a lot of effort to formulate the ink with the paper. So if you're using brother paper, mm -hmm. you should use brother ink. If you're using HP paper, you should use HP ink, and that sort of thing. Combine the two uh, for the optimal results. For optimal results. Yes. This no. is what they say. That's what they say. That's the PR position, right, Sean? That is. So anyway, so what we did was we, we printed with the brand name, with the generic, and also with the refillable. And look what the result was. And you guys will find this really interesting. So this is the official cartridge. This is the, the brand name, Brother. Do you want me to put it down here, Matt? Yes, please. There you go. Right, so all pretty, really nice, and a nice output there. Now this is a business machine, so it's not ideal for photos, but still does photos well. This is the generic. Can you tell the difference, Sean? 
It's pretty hard to tell the difference. You really? can see subtle uh, shading differences and, uh, and all of that. A again, probably both of these aren't being printed on the optimal paper for the cartridges, but they both look pretty good. Right. And then finally, this is the refilled ink. And we'll show you how to sh refill the ink a little later on in the show. Here but can really, see all that. amazingly enough, almost no, um, almost no difference between the two, the yeah. three. So that was the first surprise in this process. Yeah, and we did it again with, uh, with this. We did uh, uh, Lab Rats Photograph, authentic, generic, and then the, uh, the refill. The refill. And again, you can tell small, small differences, but all three of them are good. If you saw the, the one from refills or from the generic, you would think they were perfectly fine photographs. Got it. So, so right. here's the question. Now, it's so much cheaper. And a Prince photograph set look pretty okay. Right. So why wouldn't we do this? Oh. So let, uh, let me show you, well, let us show you how to refill these cartridges. Just very quickly, because I brought this toy out. Yeah. Just take a, a quick look here at the dots here. They're all dots, basically, and uh, getting the ink on the, the page here. And this is, uh, this is the one that's uh, the refill kit. So it, it all looks roughly the same. So there yeah. we go. That's the iClop showing us 100 times magnification of the dots on the page. So it really is about how well your printer can put that ink down into tiny little dots on the page. And whether the ink will stick. And whether the ink and will stick to the And whether it spreads, too, with the page, right? Right. So the ink's going to land, and what's going to happen is, you know, on good paper that's designed for, it will capture the dot, and mm -hmm. it won't bleed. Because when you get bleed, you get smudgy. Right, and I mean the ink manufacturers, uh, the, the printer manufacturers tell us don't refill the cartridges, don't use generic ink because it doesn't work properly with the printer and it doesn't work properly with the page. So, there you go. I mean it puts ink on the page right. in all three cases. And so. the ink sticks and looks okay. But let me show you how, how, uh, how to refill it. So the refill kits are actually amazing, right? They cost about $12.99 I think is what we paid for, for our kit for three colors. You get about what, Andrew, 100 milliliters? 120 milliliters of ink. So consider that each one of these cartridges here holds about seven milliliters. So you get f five yeah. refills per cartridge yeah, for thirteen dollars. Yeah, and that's like uh, that's like twelve bucks for the whole thing as well. So you get not only the black, but you get the three different colors, and you can refill each of them several times for that. So instead of spending seventy dollars, you're now down to uh, a fraction of twelve. Right. Now, where is my openable one, Andrew? I don't know. So also the process that you're going to want to follow. Here we go. This is Andrew Moore Crispin, our web editor. Say hello. Apart, watch, right. watch your hands. Right, it's all icky. Yeah, and Andrew actually has done this before. He's, uh, he did a I'm not sure whether he's just clumsy, but he's got ink all over his hands already. Right. So what you want to do when you start this process is get an existing, get an existing cartridge, take it apart, and have a look at what it looks like inside. Some of them have sponges on the print head. Some of them just have like this little bladder down here. Um, and you want to find the optimal um, entry point because we're actually going to insert ink through so a syringe. You basically crack it open and, and insert like this? Yeah. Well, ideally, you want to have a look at the, the anatomy of the thing. Mm -hmm. now, in this particular case, Andrew determined that the, the optimal spot was actually through the top. Mm -hmm. You can actually see the little hole that he, uh, that he punched into here, which went through the top and into the bladder itself. And he said that the problem with that is that if you miss you end up with ink outside of the bladder and, of course, a ruined cartridge. There we go. This is not exactly the, the most clean process in the entire world because of this. In they, they, they insert the ink and then they seal it up on purpose. Right. So that it doesn't start spilling everywhere. But if you want to save a couple of bucks, the problem is, is that you have to do this yourself. Now, well, so let's I'm do it. Scottish, so yes, let's yeah. go ahead and okay. do this. So I'm going to grab my yellow cartridge here. And so we're going to put, we're going to put a hole into the top here. Now, the, it does come with, in the kit, it comes with a little screwdriver like this. And you could actually use it to bore a hole manually. But, you know, uh, our experience in the research of this was not very effective at all. So, we have the, uh, the drill. All right. The Labrats drill. And we failed, last time we used the drill, we failed to use eye protection. And we got email about it, yes. even though we had, it was a disclaimer. So let's put eye protection on for all the kitties out there. Yeah, you definitely always use eye protection when you're using uh, power tools. So you want to hold that for me, Sean? All right. So we're going to throw this right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to go into the top of this thing. And it's like a hole. OK. I hope. My ears! <laughs> the freaking ears! Into the, 
into the cartridge okay. itself. Then that looks like a hole in there. Okay. I'm gonna grab some ink. Where's right. my other syringe there? Let's grab this one here. Over here as well. No, that's just the lid. Here See, we go. This, is, this is the yellow one is what I want. Uh, this is a very confusing process. You got all of these tools and that's all of this yellowing. ink everywhere. This is gonna become a disaster. So, <laughs> so I'm gonna push some air into the device itself. All right, this is a tip from uh, one of our one other... Of, uh, one of our junkie friends. <laughs> hey. Push air into the receptacle first, and then you're going to draw out the equivalent amount of liquid, like this. And of course, he said it's a little difficult, so let's try it again. Okay, so. oh. See? Messy already. Now we're already got... Eh? Yeah, this seems like more trouble than it's worth already. <laughs> Help. It's a bit of a crapshoot. Andrew, can you come and help me here? Yes, absolutely. I am the junkie friend. He's a junkie friend. What the? So, <laughs> what are we? See, we've. <laughs> it's, this is this okay, is so trouble. far. How this many people? Trouble. Four people helping. <laughs> I see. Okay. To sell how many? There's something stuck in here. Oh, okay. Well, let's use a different syringe. Let's use the pink syringe. Okay. okay a little bit of air. A little Push bit of air. Some air in. Okay, because if you don't do oh, this, it's you won't get blue, the pressure. Oh, it's all blue though. That's fine. It doesn't matter. We'll oh, use them well. again anyway. <laughs> I think that's a little hint as to how this all turns out. <laughs> all right. All right, I got some, I got enough in there. Okay, okay. so there you go. So you pull that. All right, so I got my ink in there, right? All right. Now you stick this in here. You want to pierce the bladder as well. Mm -hmm. So in you go. And we're going to refill the ink. Okay. And there you go. So it's refilled. So you yeah. keep going until it's uh, full up. So you, until it's full up, yeah. And you keep doing that. Now what you want to do is you want to seal the hole. Yeah, because otherwise of, it's going to start coming out like that. Like that. Right. There is some tape, as you can see, that comes with it. You can use to cover the hole. I think I just took out all of the ink that you just put in there. Such a painstaking job you did, and I just ruined it in like three seconds. Now we can't print. Yeah. So unfortunately, this is the, this is the problem. If you don't seal it up and you've got uh, your printer cartridge just sitting in there loose, you jar that printer yeah. or move it around a little bit, boom, ink and everywhere. Right. So it's not an easy process, right? It's not an easy process. Andrew, come show us your hands. So this poor guy on Sunday did this experiment. Can you get, get this, get Mac? Yeah, give me a sec. So <laughs> we sent him off to do segment producing all this. Thanks. Well, that's just surplus to requirements, isn't it? <laughs> right. <laughs> so put him, put him down here. So poor Andrew ended up with ink all over the place. I just say it's fortunate it wasn't the black ink or I'd look like a criminal. Right. Understand. <laughs> okay. So the bottom line, I think you would agree, and I think Sean probably would agree, not an easy process. If you're going to go through a lot of ink, like you print lots and lots of stuff, and you can get this down to a science and do it and have patience and have a tarp and have little outfits like us, including the rubber gloves and eye protection, you might be able to save a few dollars. Now, interestingly enough, so $13 to refill all the colors, which otherwise would cost you somewhere in the region of, you know, uh, 50 plus dollars. Yes. Right? So, and, and in fact, 15 bucks to do it 10 times over, five times over. So a huge savings. The bottom line is, what we discovered is that, in the end, the generic does great work, uh, produces great um, output. You don't have to deal with the mess. And in the end, uh, it's great value for the money. Yeah, so I mean, the, the thing is, is if you're going to go even cheaper and use the refillable ink kit, well, how much are your clothes worth to you? Are you going to have to replace anything that you're wearing? Are you going to have to replace or steam clean your furniture to, to deal with that? It's just maybe not worth the effort. And if you get CMYK on your uh, wife's couch, your toast. Yeah, that's bad, bad news. <laughs> okay. So uh, bottom line, I think, is that, yeah, go for the generic if you, if you want to save some money here because it's like a, a massive, massive savings over the... Uh, now, I will mention one little caveat, and that is some of the printers, when you change the cartridge, you change the print head itself because yeah. it's attached to the, to the cartridge. So you're kind of getting a new printer every time you're getting a new cartridge. So that, that's worth bearing in mind. In this particular case, these, bro these brother cartridges print head is changeable, right? It's changeable yeah. yes. separately. It's a consumable. Yeah. It's a consumable. Yeah. There you go. So if you're refilling one that has the print head on it, basically it'll keep degrading over time and your, uh, your ability to use it. And, and here's the other thing about that is if you're refilling one that has like the ink head on it, uh, all the little uh, the nozzles on it rather than just the ink tank, is if you get the wrong ink, it can clog up those nozzles as well right. and potentially degrade that and you'll start to get bad, uh, you know, bad results out of it as well, potentially. Right. And I think the bottom line is if you want to print you know, gorgeous photographs on your photo printer with archival links and have them around for many, many years to come to put on your wall. Don't cheap out. Don't cheap out. Don't cheap out. Stick with the, uh, the, the, the formulation from the company that created the printer. Anyway, 
that's it. Hope you enjoyed our little demo today. Don't even think about it. Don't even think about it. Don't even think about it. We'll be, uh, we'll be back after this uh, message with, uh, well, more stuff, I guess, from LabVets. This episode is brought to you by our friends at Hover. The easiest way to buy domain names and do more with them. Get 25% off today by visiting hover.com slash labrats. Well, hey, what are you doing? Giving myself uh, rose-colored glasses, but it's, it's green, so it's not working out so well. But green, green, we can talk about the environmental impact of this. Right. Are you actually saving any, saving the environment at all doing this? Do you think? <laughs> I ain't gonna know. I'm greenwashing my uh, for weeks. weeks and weeks and weeks. All right. Well, we don't have time for picture time today, unfortunately, because it's been preempted by cleanup time. But I do want to re remind you about one thing that we got going on. If you uh, have been over to butterscotch.com and you've seen all the other shows that we do, where you know next to Lab Rats, uh, you maybe have a favorite show. So choose a show, choose an episode, send us an email to. <laughs> I, I've got ink on my nose at feedback. I've got ink on my brain at feedback. Nerdlabrats.tv. <laughs> uh, or preferably. I'm overheating in this. I bet you Whose are. idea was this? <laughs> Yours. Oh, so damn. Damn. No, no, but send an email to. Feedback at labrats.tv. <laughs> and, uh, and send it and fast before we overheat. That's right. And let us know your favorite episode on Butterscotch that's not Lab Rats. And you could win one of these fabulous new ink-free and yellow t-shirts. You win this limited Don't edition. Don't even touch it. There you go. All right, you well. Never let me have any fun. Anything else to add, Mr. Crothers? No. No, you're all sweaty, and now you get ink on your nose. All right, well, we'll see you next time. Thanks for tuning in this week and for pushing play, and I would promise you next time Sean will not have ink on his face. Well, we hope not anyway. I'm Andy Walker. I'm Sean Carruthers. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Help you with that? Are you ready? I have to pee. <laughs> Should have thought of that before we got you into the suit. Well, at least the suit is waterproof. I feel like I'm a bit sweaty. <laughs> All, right. All right. Let's get on with this. I'm getting hot.